All right, so you can see that I've uh, I've done some already, but I'm going to show you what I've done and how I've done that. So um, I initially put down that really light wash of uh, kind of yellow ochre and, and burnt umber, and now I'm going to um, put some shadows in here. And so I'm going to look at the ch at the uh, shadow side with a lot of blues. Um, so I'm going to use the ultramarine and then. Um, so you can see it ultramarine and a little bit of burnt umber that kind of makes this cooler blue but it's still kind of grayed down so I'm gonna come and put a light wash and I can always come back and darken things up I'm kind of emulating that same kind of motion that I did with the pen and ink. Um, kind of just a little scribble to give some texture. Now I can see already that um, I'd like this a little bit darker, but uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and go on with this a little bit, and let it dry. I'll come back with a maybe a warmer wash um, in the uh, in like the the sunlight sunlit side. I can see that already. I think my shadows are going to be darker as well. Maybe add a little bit. Looks like I add a little more brown. Burn umber. I kind of wanted that bluish cast a little bit. I, I like to just kind of sneak up on things here and, and not get too crazy on any one layer. And so I know a lot of students are going to say, well, I want to just get it done. And well, that's going to be the difference here. That's considerably browner. So let's do that over here. Paper towel. I get a little bit more, um, a little warmer here. Add a little bit of yellow ochre. See that? A little bit of burn umber. I had to be careful because now I, I had some ultramarine blue. And so this yellow ochre is pretty yellow. And I put the blue in, and that's going to make it kind of a greenish tint. So I got to be a little bit careful. Maybe I'll even take a little bit of the lemon yellow. Oh, that's yellow. All right, cadmium yellow. Sorry, that's warm. That's okay. And so we'll go in here and warm this side up a little bit, so we have nice contrast between the shadow side and the sunlit side. So it's going to pick up a little bit of sunlight on the left side. Really, if you just do the whole thing, it's probably not going to hurt anything because that uh, mixture of burn umber and ultramarine is going to cover that up. Just think about where is the light going to hit? Is it going to hit on the top of this little uh, root? It's going to hit on the side. We've got some like bigger like bumps. And they don't all have to be the same color brown either. So the different trees are going to have different bark structure. And it looks like I'm just kind of being really messy, but I am trying to think about, okay, I've got a light side, then I've got, I'm going to have a dark side, and then I come back around this corner and it's going to be light again. 
And so right now it looks like it's dark because that's the only thing there, but in a minute when I put the shadow on, and that'll still be the light side. This is kind of dry over here now, so a little yellow ochre, a little cadmium, a little bit of burn umber. expecting you to watch this whole video but it will be helpful you know if you watch it and then you, you come back in and um, you know fast forward a little bit get the top of this a little lighter maybe you know after this stuff dries it's pretty permanent unless you really really work it so I might come in here with a little more yellow ochre and and cad yellow and maybe, maybe make some little warmer spots here. Bring it in a little more yellow. More like the golden hour and the sun the sun is uh coming off of it. Maybe the sun is getting a little bit more on the horizon, so it's a little more yellow and golden. So I might be moving a little faster than what you would. That that orange that that warmed it up a little bit, so. And I'll come back with a burn umber and a little lizard crimson. And if it's too brown, then you add a little more lizard and crimson. That'll kind of gray it down because really, um, what we're doing here is the lizard and crimson is. I mean, the, I'm sorry, I keep saying the lizard and crimson. This is a uh, ultramarine blue. So the ultramarine blue is blue, but then the Burnt Umber is really um, a collection of it's reds and, and yellows, so really I'm mixing all three colors together. I'm mixing reds, yellows, and, and blues together, which typically make gray when you mix them. So, um, so depending on how blue you want it or how gray you want it, you add more and more brown, so or blue. So now. this a little stronger I'm just kind of scribbling a little bit and kind of giving that that bark texture Then I'm going to show you because th this is has so many trees here that the light is kind of being dispersed and stuff. Um, so here I want to make sure that that's, that might be a little dark. I might need to just dilute that down a little bit. This to be a pretty deep shadow underneath the little overhang of the building. Probably this is going to be pretty dark too. Got some little vines that are sticking out there. Just kind of dots every once in a while to get a little texture. So it's going to be kind of a deep divot here in the tree. So 
So this is kind of what I'm going to do with all of them. I'm going to stop the video in a little bit, but um, but then so we've got this kind of started here. And I'm going to probably work on it a little bit more. I'm just barely using the tip of the brush to get those nice fine lines. I know it's kind of cheesy, but that that one phrase, two hairs and some air. I'm not sure who, uh, I don't know if that was Andrew Tischler or not. I like to watch, but uh, it's pretty good saying there now so that's that's just kind of like um shaded like i would shade it if it was just out in the middle of the forest all by itself but now what i want to do is i want to kind of pretend like there's all these other branches up here up high that are casting shadows so i want to just cast a shadow and you can kind of see that how i have these lines those are from cast shadows from from other branches maybe from itself or from other things and so I'm going here and I'm just kind of use this to help model the the shape of the tree so like it bumps over here so I'm making it curved up and then it kind of comes around this curve and then maybe there's another branch that comes up and so there's really no right or wrong maybe the branch is coming up this way and maybe it's a little thicker I think this will make it a little bit more believable like it's in a group of trees always maybe start off lighter than what you think you should and I'm going to kind of do that same thing down here on the grass um, later I can get a little darker here from a couple days ago I was working on it you put a little some branches coming off here, or some shadows, some cast shadows. Now, a lot of times it's not necessarily super noticeable. You're like, oh, look at those cool cast shadows, but it really just kind of makes everything else blend in. And I'll just give you a little taste of what I'm gonna do here. Um, this is definitely dry. I'm going to take that same mixture that, and start to kind of build in some shadows on the ground. And I'm going to leave you here in a second and I'm going to work on it a little bit more, but that's basically what I'm going to be doing is uh, finishing up these trees and then maybe bring in some cast shadows. I'm going to keep it in the blues because it's a cool shadow and I want to be careful not to get it too dark yet and that's probably too wet so when you get it too wet you just have to add more paint and that puddled and I don't want to puddle just kind of putting some shadows there but then in a little bit I'm going to think about what would this what kind of um, shadows would these trees be casting and so I might lay in some shadows that are coming from maybe some hidden trees I gotta figure out where the lights coming from so that all of my my shadows are kind of going in the same angle. Make that a little darker. So now we're really kind of getting that idea that we've got the sunlight over here. Maybe there's a branch tree that's coming over here that you really can't see. Maybe there's going to be several of them. I'm gonna do that pretty much all the way around. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have some cast shadows on the house as well. On these rocks, I'm kinda of getting ahead of myself a little bit, but. All right, 
and that's just kind of fun there. So I'm going to let you go, but I'm going to go ahead and work on the sides of these, and then when we come back, uh, I'll start working on the house and maybe the, the stone ground here or something. All right.